Hi guys, Paul Wilson here. I'm an instructional designer who specializes in Adobe Captivate eLearning. And uh, this video has been prompted by a colleague of mine who asked me a question today about music and narration and a little bit of animation or effects on a title slide. So I thought, you know, I kind of went through it with her, but I thought, hey, what a great topic for a video. So I thought I'd come home and record this very same topic. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about a couple of the first pages of what I refer to as my front matter, which is the, uh, the stuff up front, the front of the book as it's sometimes referred to. Um, the very first thing I almost always do is I create a blank slide at the beginning of my course. One of the things I've learned over the years working with Adobe Captivate uh, in all its versions is that during the first slide there's a lot of things that are loading and a lot of stuff happening in the background. So a nice blank slide is a great way to deal with that. It won't interfere with your content. And so subsequently my title page or title slide or title screen, whatever you want to call it, is usually slide number two. So I've set some of this up already. Um, just a couple of elements. I have um, a rounded uh, cornered uh, rectangle here with a little bit of transparency. I've got uh, a square box with a title, another square box with a tagline. So just a pretend little corporate safety training video or corporate safety training course. And the tagline is, our people are our most important asset. So just a, a neat little thing there. And also I've used a smart shape, but I'm using it as a button here. So if you take a look here, uh, I have another video that talks about this, but you know, the great part about Adobe Captivate 8 is the addition of being able to use, um, you know, different shapes as buttons. You could do that before, but now you got the rollover effect. So that, that really is a great cue for your learners that, hey, this is something you can click, you can, you can interact with this element, so that's good. But by itself, this is pretty plain, you know. So what we can do to spice it up or jazz it up a bit is uh, we'll put in uh, a little narration, of course. Narration is something I, I do a lot of text-to-speech stuff. Um, you know, there's a couple of my courses we've uh, we've gone ahead and hired professional voice actors to do them. But you know, if you just want to do quick and dirty e-learning. Um, you know, the the narration that's built into Captivate 8 is, is not bad. It's not the best in the world, um, but it's uh, pretty good, considering that it all comes at no additional cost. So to do that, you simply go into the slide notes uh, window, and then you can bring up text to speech, and you can choose one of your speech agents. In this case, my personal favorite is Julie. I find that she's the most human sounding. And uh, I've just put a very simple message here. Welcome to the Corporate Safety Online Course. Click the Next button to begin. So it's just a little welcome slide just to remind users what course they're running. So we're just going to generate the audio for this. And that's done. So that's happening in the background there. You can see it on the timeline right along the bottom there. So there's our text to audio. Now you'll notice that a few of these objects, uh, you know, they've, uh, they're only there for three seconds because now we've extended this. So we just want to make sure that all of this stuff here is for the rest of the slide, including our little button there that's actually a smart object. So that's good. Everything there is good. Now what I want to do is I want to add um, a little background music and a lot of people will tend to go with the you know audio import to background but what that does is it creates an audio loop that will continue through your entire course. In previous versions of Captivate you could actually check off um, stop background audio on all the slides where you didn't want to hear that background audio, which for me was everything except the title slide. So I actually prefer this method. This is what I do. 
what I do is I put an object on the screen and this object can be a smart object, it can be any old shape. Um, in this case I'm just going to randomly select a shape here once once Adobe Captivate catches up for me here. Yeah, there it is. It can be anything. I'm going to use I'm going to use this oval callout, and I'm just going to put that over to the side here. Now I'm not going to worry about its appearance. That's something I'm going to fix. I'm also going to make sure that it appears um, for the rest. Well, actually, it doesn't even matter. We're not going to worry about that. What we're going to do now is we're going to add some audio to this. Now, where are we going to get our audio? I'll give you a little hint. One of the best resources, and if you're planning on publishing your courses up to YouTube, which is something you can do in Adobe Captivate, uh, YouTube has an audio library dedicated to all kinds of stuff, including music. There's also sound effects available, but you can just go to www.youtube.com slash audio library slash music, and that will give you everything here. And I found a track that I think I'll go with. This is called Lucky Day. It's upbeat, it's bright. I'll just play a little bit of it for you here. That sounds good. So we're going to download that to our desktop here. And that will just take a moment or two. And in the meantime, we'll return back to the course here. So what I can do is add audio to this guy here. And we will use the import function, right? Just to be clear, I click the add audio button with, of course, the call out object selected. And I'm going to hit import. I'm going to go to my desktop. And there it is. Nice small little MP3 file, but it'll also take WAV files as well. And we'll open that up. Now, the audio is going to come in at full volume. And of course, you're going to be using narration over top of this, so you're going to want to quiet this down a little bit. So we'll click the Edit tab. And there's some things you can do here, like you could actually insert silence and things like that, but we're not going to do that. All we need to do is lower the, the lower, or adjust the, evolu the volume here. So we'll click that, and I'm going to drop it down by seven decibels. It's sort of my six or seven decibels, depending on the original recording, is usually enough. And we'll just hit, you can hit save here. Now it's going to ask you, do you want to extend the display time to 67.5 seconds to match the new audio? I think you should. You don't have to, but just remember that if you don't, it will cut off the uh, the music partway through the song. So, you know, for fun's sake, you can just say yes. So it's going to make a nice long title slide that will stay open there. And we'll hit close. Now, for this to function, this needs to be visible. So um, I can't just make it not visible in the output. But what I can do is I can change the property. So what we'll do is we'll make this the fill 0%. So it's completely transparent. And we'll get rid of the stroke as well. We'll make that 0 as well. So while you can still see it in design mode, uh, you know, it won't show up in the final output. Now, one of the things you could even do if you wanted if you wanted a, a slight delay in the music starting, you could actually drag this, maybe start it half a second after the slide appears. And, you know, one of the cool things now you can do as well is you've got this narration done. Let it play a little bit of the music first, and then maybe after about three seconds, play the narration. Now, there's no animation yet, but let's take a look at what this looks like. So we'll just do a little quick preview here. Um, we'll do the project preview. And this will take a moment here. We'll see how this looks. Now I can already see that I've got a problem, and that's the pause for this next button 
occurs before we have a chance to hear that audio. So I'm just going to drag that over to about 10 seconds. Alternatively, you can click on the timing tab next to properties here and you can just say pause after 10 seconds. So that should work. Let's just try that again. We'll do another preview and we'll just uh, generate that and go ahead and see how that looks and sounds. Welcome to the Corporate Safety Online Course. Click the next button to begin. That sounds pretty good to me. Now we can do a little bit of fun with the uh, with the objects on the screen. So you're going to be coming in from your blank slide. So maybe what we can do is we can animate these objects. So the first one I'm going to work with is the background uh, rounded corner rectangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the uh, effects window and that item is selected so we're going to add an effect and we're going to go under entrance and we're going to choose ease in left and we'll make that uh, two seconds sounds good I'm going to set ease to be a hundred percent and the initial alpha to be zero that's cool now we're going to do the same thing with the corporate safety bar here. We're going to add an effect, go to entrance, ease in, and this time we're going to do ease in right. So a little bit different. We'll set the ease to be 100%. And then we're going to return to the regular film strip, or actually in this case here we'll use the uh, notes just wait for Captivate to catch up with me for a second there. And I think for this guy here, we're just going to have him we'll just go back to timeline here. We know all this stuff is happening after about two seconds. So let's actually make this item. Oops not appear for two seconds and then what we'll do is we'll fade in only. So let's take a look at this and see what it looks like. We'll just preview that. Welcome to the Corporate Safety Online Course. Click the next button to begin. That's pretty cool. I think we've got something there. If you guys like this video, feel free to, su to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and put those just below the video in the comments area. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.